All right, YouTubers, today we're in the workshop and we're going to talk about how to turn these two rake heads into one of the most forgotten tools in fishing, and that's a weed rake for clearing swims. It's early summer and this is the River Ranco. Now, it's not difficult to see that if you want to do any sort of fishing at all, you need to get the bait down to the bottom, and you're just not going to do it without this sort of weed growth. Therefore, you need a weed rake. Otherwise, classic swims such as this one are going to be rendered more or less unfishable altogether. These are the rake heads that I'm going to turn into my weed rake. I got them from eBay, they were about 7 49 each, and I'll link them in the description. Now to make the rake, we need to remove these rivets here, and then just keep one of the handles. We'll then bolt through both sections of the rake and the handle we're keeping. All it needs then is some paint. Right, I'm all safety goggled up, it's time to get the grinder out. I'm using a 1mm cutting disc in my grinder to cut through the rivets on each side of the rake head. Be careful because everything gets really hot afterwards so just don't grab hold of the rake once you've finished and burn your fingers. When you've got everything cut off nicely don't forget to dress up the metal nice and smooth with the grinder just to finish things off. We can always cover things with paint later. Now we need to take a hammer and a suitable drift and drive that rivet through. Repeat the process with the second rake head. You need to make sure that everything's nice and smooth so that when you mount them back to back the rake heads fit together nicely. Out of the two handles decide which one you want to keep. Also clean that one up with the grinder to make sure that that's in a, in a good condition so there's nothing that's going to rub on your rope. Right that's these two pieces free of the handles. So you'll see we've just got some rivets to drill out. Grinding them off's not doing any good because I think they're too tight in the holes. Um, yeah, once it's on that, it'll just be a case of drilling through both pieces together like this, and then reattaching one of the handles with some bolts, and then uh, we're ready to go. We should just tie a rope on and move off. All right, all my component pieces are all drilled out and ready, and dressed up nicely. So I just need to find some suitable bolts, and then we can fasten the whole lot together. Um, paint it up and it'll be ready to use. I found some stainless steel bolts in my box of tricks and I've just dry fitted everything together. So I'll have to disassemble it before I paint it um, and then fasten it back together for good. But um, yeah, you can see the, the sort of object of what we've been trying to create. I need to drill one small hole, slightly bigger um, in the handle so that I can put a rope through it. And then it's ready to use really. So this is the finished rake that we built in the workshop a few days ago. I've come down to the river and we're going to have a go at clearing a swim, see how it performs. This will be a good test of the rake and my knot tying skills. To see how thick the weed is, it was difficult for these swans to get food from below the surface. If you've never used a weed rake before, all you need to do is attach the rope to one end and then launch the thing into the river. Then it's simply a case of pulling it back in again and removing the weed and repeating the process over and over until you've got a clear swim. The weed you've raked will be full of invertebrates and water life. Please ensure that you return it to the margin so that it can find its way back into the water. So we've gone from pretty much this, this side of the river, to this. And we've got a nice clear bottom. So there we have it. For a few quid and a bit of your free time, you'll have a tool that can make the unfishable fishable. Thanks for watching, see you soon.